Hmm. Snape, Snape, Severus Snape, Dumbledore! Snape, Snape, Severus Snape, Dumbledore! Wait, should I get naked? No. We ain't gonna go for your toy review! Short long! Short long! Action figures, big movies, big news! Short long! Short long! What up, big kids? Here's your big review. The Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone Star Ace Toys Albus Dumbledore 160 collectible action figure. I want to thank Star Ace Toys for sending out this review as well as Sideshow Freaks. Make sure to check out their website. You can also pick this up at Sideshow Collectibles or if it's sold out, then at BigBadToyStore.com. Link is in the description. So here we got the packaging. It has the Star Ace logo. It has a nice picture of Dumbledore on the front as well as his uh, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone logo. On the back says Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Uh, it has a big old warning label. Warning you want choking your Dumbledore, you'll need magic to spit them out. When you remove the box sleeve, here you can see Dumbledore in his one of the display box. And the back says Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. One of the packages this is everything you get with Dumbledore. Since this is based on the Sorcerer's Stone version, this is based on actor Richard Harris who played Dumbledore in the first two films. He sadly passed away after uh, Chamber of Secrets. He was recast by Michael Gavin, but they really did a great job uh, bringing Richard Harris's likeness and I really love the sculpt it really like the wrinkles and the paint apps on the skin tone he has glasses which are removable but I choose not to uh, take them off they look really cool they don't have any lenses which I just like the Harry Potter one and it makes sense hair is rooted uh, which is really awesome nice flowing white hair it says in instructions to put wax in it to make it a little bit more manageable his beard though just like Hagrid is sculpted which I like and I don't like. I like it because it looks great, but I know it does hinder the articulation just a little bit, but not too bad. But, you know, they did have at New York Comic Con rooted uh, beard, which looked cool, but I know um, people preferred the sculpted beard. So I do like the detail in the beard. It looks really awesome. His outfit's really awesome. I just love all the different materials. The pattern is really cool. If you can look at that, it just... Uh, he is just an awesome wizard. I mean, Dumbledore is the wizard. I love the belt right here. That detail is just so cool. That's the sash right here. Flowing outfit too. It's like, there's no like wire in here. Oh, a Snape had, but it's still really cool. And I love the underlining. His hands look really nice. His other hand has the rings, which I'll show here in a bit, but love the pattern right here. It's just so cool. It's really nice and soft too. It's a really cool uh, outfit. Boots right here, it says Star Ace on the bottom, made in China. So uh, Hogwarts does get their boots from China. <laughs> but yeah, it looks really cool. I'm loving the linen and all the different materials on here. Dumbledore does come with his hat too, so you can place it on here. It has that nice little point. A place it on here is a little bit tricky at times, but not too bad. It's mostly because of the hair, but it will stay on here pretty good. Here you got Dumbledore with his hat looking magical. Dumbledore is pretty tall at 12 and a half inches tall, but with his hat, he's a little over 13 inches. You can see he's in great scale with the other Star Ace Harry Potter figures, including Severus Snape and Harry Potter from the Sorcerer's Stone. For articulation, Dumbledore's head can can move left and right because of the beard it will make it really hard to fully rotate he can look up really good the beard will look a little weird but yeah he can look down actually pretty good and a nice head pivot side to side his arms can fully rotate you just gotta work with the outfit a little bit but they're nice and tight you can go in and out rotate the bicep and at two points at the elbow rotate the wrist as well as going out he has a diaphragm joint that can go forward and back and a move left right and pivot side to side he also has a waist joint can move left and right his legs can go forward can go back a little bit he can almost do the splits his outfit you, know, you can't remove so you can make it go a little bit more if you wanted to rotate the upper part of the leg bend at two points at the knee and his ankles can fully rotate they can't really pivot forward and back and he doesn't really have an ankle pivot Dumbledore comes with quite a bit of accessories this is the regular version so this one shows you how to do his articulation how to do his hair uh, the deluxe version which comes with a light up base shows how to do the batteries and the deluxe version also comes with box you also get a little caution thing about the eyeglasses. Dumbledore comes with a total of five hands, two relaxed hands. He comes with a hand to hold his uh, a wand, uh, one to hold the sword, and he comes with this left hand that has his two rings. They are actually removable. Really nice detail on the rings. I think that's really cool. He comes with the golden cup which has some really nice detail and paint apps on it. Looking really cool. He comes with this crystal ball and this little elephant base, which is really nice. If you get the deluxe version, you get this rock base that actually lights it up. Sadly, I don't have it, but this one looks cool nonetheless. And I like it's it's like a marble. 
you know, you can see through it. It stands on there pretty good, but be careful. It will have a tendency to fly all over the place. It comes with his Elder Wand. It, this wand has some really nice detail on it. Uh, it is some pliable plastic, so you don't have to really worry about it breaking. It comes with the Sword of Godric Gryffindor. Very awesome. Nice, shiny, kind of chrome uh, out plastic. Really awesome. I really like the detail on the hilt. Some nice red plastic on there. Super shiny, so once again, it's very pliable, so you don't have to worry about breaking it. And the regular version comes with his uh, Albus Dumbledore stand. It has the adjustable cradle made for his waist. And there you got Dumbledore with a really cool pose with his wand. Overall, Star Ace Toys has once again have done an amazing job on their Harry Potter figures, and Dumbledore is once again a hit. I'm really happy that they're both doing the Richard Harris and the Michael Gobin Dumbledore. The Sorcerer's Stone version of Dumbledore is awesome. I love the sculpted beard, the flowing hair, the outfit is awesome. Even though the regular version doesn't come with a uh, fox and and the light up base, you still get a great amount of accessories, including you know the crystal ball, the Gryffindor sword, his elder wand. You can buy this version right now at Sideshow Collectibles for $209.99, which is a great deal considering everything you're getting, how tall and detailed the figure is. If you want the deluxe version with Fox, uh, you can get that Big Bad Toys for $238.99. So for just like about 20 more, you get some good accessories. So I definitely recommend either version. If you don't care about having a Phoenix, then definitely this version is just as awesome. I think besides with Harry, Ron, Hermione, and even Snape, that Dumbledore is definitely the must-have of the Harry Potter figures. Everyone else is great secondary characters, but Dumbledore is definitely one of the main characters. Sorry's Toys did an amazing job, and I highly recommend him. For more, check out my website at seanxlong.com. Like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, links in the description. I'm Sean Long, may I live long and love life. Dumbledore, do you think I could be a great wizard like you one day? Harry, I foresee it. Do you think that I will have an amazing beard like you? I'm sorry, boy, but you'll never have a beard like this. But my name is Harry Potter. Well, I am the Harry Dumbledore. Am I an AT-AT driver or an ad driver? I want to ask Darth Vader, but Freddy's gonna choke me.